You want to know why a properly assembled bolded connection like this one can experience such a drastic preload loss FZ during operation? And what design measures you can take to minimize it? Then this is definitely the right video for you here at the YouTube Engineering Academy. I'm Nico, I'm a German engineer, and today I will explain you the loss of bolt preload due to embedding. When a bolted joint connection is assembled and tightened, after the mounting, the actual preload force FPRE is present in all components. Since the components are linear elastic, the stiffness SP for the bolt and the stiffness SP for the plates can be used to draw the joint diagram of the bolt connection. In the assembled state, the clamping force FC in the gap between the plates is the assembly preload force FPRE. In many bolted connections, a preload force reduction can be observed over time during operation, causing the bolted connection to start slipping or even gapping under load. This loss of preload force is referred as embedding. The cause of this phenomenon is shown here. Two plates with rough surfaces, an upper plate and a lower plate, each having the length L and the width W, are pressed together by the normal force Fn. The pressure in the contact area is not uniform and homogeneous. Rather, only the roughness peaks of one plate touch the other plate. So the real contact area is much smaller than the nominal contact area L times W. In this small contact area, the normal force Fn generates high local pressure that is so high that the yield strength of the material is exceeded at these points, causing the roughness peaks to be classically deformed and flattened. As a result, a non contiguous distributed contact surface, denoted as AP, is formed from the deformed areas. Due to the application of the normal force, the original gap height H between the two parts is reduced. Even after the force Fn is no longer applied, the gap H remains reduced. The two, surface, the two surfaces only partially spring back. The plastically deformed roughness peaks remain deformed. This phenomenon also occurs at any loaded bolt connection. That is called embedding. Embedding specifically refers to a partial loss of the assembly preload force FPRE caused by the flattening of surface roughness peaks in the clamped contact areas. When the bolted connection is correctly tightened, for example to 90% of the bolt's yield strength, the preload force generates high surface pressures in the contact areas, which plastically deform and smooth the surface roughness peaks present there. This flattening of the roughness peaks occurs in every inner interface, including the bolt head and nut bearing surface, and a thread engagement. In the illustration, the contact areas between the plates and under the bolt head are enlarged. The contact zones between the contact bodies, which are plastically deformed due to preload, are marked in red. If during operation, additional lateral forces, designated here as F shear, or dynamic operating forces F tension, act between the pretensioned contact edge surfaces, embedding is favored. To estimate the preload loss, we revisit the joint diagram in the assembly condition. The assembly preload force FPRE is applied. The bolt is stretched by the amount EBM and the plates are compressed by the amount EPM. If now embedding occurs and the roughness peaks decompress by an amount EZ, the preload in the bolt and plates decreases and a new clamping diagram is formed. The remaining residual force after embedding is F res. Since the macroscopic stiffness SB of the bolt and SP of the plates do not change due to embedding, the here shown two triangles are similar. Using the similarity, we can calculate the preload loss due to embedding. 
Fz is proportional to the assembly preload force F3, as the embedding amount Ez is proportional to the sum of the initial elongations Ebm and Epm of the bolt and the plates. The initial elongations can also be expressed through the resiliencies delta B and delta P, so the preload loss Fz is the embedding amount Ez divided by the sum of the resiliencies of the bolt and plates. FPRE cancels out of the equation. Embedding depends from the amount of from the amount of contact surfaces, the surface roughness within these contacts, and the loading direction. The German standard VDI 2230 for systematic calculation of highly stressed bullet joints gives us guide values for the occurring amounts of embedding of bolts, nuts, and compact clamped parts made of steel without coatings. These are shown in the table. For the bolt connection, shown on the right, consisting of a steel bolt clamping together two steel plates, the embedding amounts are calculated as follows. In the thread, a general value of 3 micrometer is assumed, regardless of surface roughness and load. Depending on the surface roughness Rz of the plates, different amounts of embedding occur based on load and type of contact. For an average roughness height Rz between 10 and 40 micrometers, under tensile load, the upper middle row outlined in red applies. Accordingly, 3 micrometer occur in the thread, 3 micrometer at both the head and the nut surfaces, and additionally, 2 micrometer in the contact area between the clamped plates. The total embedding amount, therefore, is 11 micrometer. Under shear load, the lower middle row applies. Accordingly, 3 micrometer occur in the thread, 4.5 micrometer at both the head and the nut surfaces, and 2.5 micrometer in the contact area between the clamped plates. The total embedding amount, therefore, is 14.5 micrometer. Based on these correlations, the following design rules can be derived. Minimize the number of inner interfaces. Try to avoid any washers and ensure smooth surfaces with low surface roughness. Let's now have a look at a joint diagram under the effect of an actual operating load FO. The additional elongation delta E caused by the operating force increases the bolt force to the new level FB total. As a result, the clamping force within the plates decreases by the amount FPA so that only a reduced residual clamping force, FRCL, remains in the joint. If the residual clamping force, FRCL, becomes smaller than the required clamping force, the bolt connection can no longer reliably fulfill its function. A properly designed bolted connection takes into account the operat operational clamping force reduction due to FPA ensuring that the remaining clamping force, FRCL, always remains greater than the required clamping force. If embedding occurs, the embedding amount EZ causes the, pre causes the preload loss FZ, shown in red, reducing the assembly preload force FPRE to the lower residual preload force of the embedding FRES. Since all stiffness values remain unchanged, the same operational load FO generates the same preload reduction FPA as shown before. In this example, however, the remaining residual clamping force FRCL drops to almost zero, a very critical situation. The bolt connection will fail instantly if the residual clamping force falls below the required clamping force. This example highlights why it is so important to minimize the embedding of bolt connections through the previously mentioned design measures, especially in highly loaded bolt connections. With this, we have reached the end of this lesson. Thank you very much and see you again at the YouTube Engineering Academy.